Today, I'm going to teach you the key to forge your way into the Master Vault. <music> Greetings, hatchlings! If it wasn't obvious from the introduction or the title of the video, today we are here to talk about Keyforge, specifically the Master Vault. Now, the Master Vault is available both in this form as an app and also on the website, okay? So there's two different variations, but there are a lot of similarities. So what I'm gonna do today is cover the app, and if it feels like it's necessary, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and cover the website in the future. But I will touch on it at the end just to give you an idea of the slight difference between that and the app because the website does have an additional feature that is not currently included in the app but I fully expect to find in the app going forwards. So the Keyforge Master Vault app, first of all let's cover what it is and where you get it. So what it is basically is it's a way to register your Keyforge decks, okay? Every one of these decks, for anybody who doesn't know, are random and unique. They're procedurally generated, they have their own unique name, and they all come with their own, let me, let me find it, oh, let me find it, here it is. They all come with their own identity card that on the back has a little QR code. Now don't bother trying to be all clever and scanning it, boys, because I already put mine in my app, so you can't get it, okay? So, the app is designed to keep track of all of your decks. It's actually very handy, I like the concept. You can locate it on the Google Play Store. So if you just go into Google Play and you type Keyforge in, then you will it'll show you. And the logo for it is just the K and the F. It's really, really obvious, you can't miss it. So you install the app onto your phone. Now if you don't already have an account with this company, I think it's called As Asmodi or something like that, I think is the company. So if you don't already have a profile set up for their games, then they will redirect you to their website where you have to put in the log information and they'll send you off a confirmation email, which you have to confirm before you gain the ability to actually use the app. Now I have some screenshots here that I'm gonna put in the video as we go through to give you an idea of how it works. And I figure what we'll do is we'll just go one by one, starting at the top all the way down with the options. So the first option, is search decks. Now this isn't searching your decks, this is searching all decks in existence, okay? So right now, in here, you actually scroll through, I'm not gonna show you the names because that might uh, ruin some of the fun of the discovery, but you can go through and look at all the different Keyforge names of decks that have already been registered if you wanna look for chuckleerious names. And right now as it stands, there are 83,776 decks that have been registered. 30 or 40 more decks have been registered just in the time since the last time I opened this. And I opened this a few minutes ago. So decks are being registered fairly rapidly. So with the um, with the search function here, when you're looking through other decks, you have the ability to look either by deck name or by card name. And this is, again, to look through all the decks that have been registered into the Master Vault. The second, the second option here is your profile. And this is your personal information with your profile ID. Now I'm gonna scroll up off the screen because I don't know if that's something that can be used to, to cause any problems for me, so I don't want that on the screen. So it's got your access to your name as well. Oh, here it is, asmodee.net. So you created an account on asmodee.net. So you can actually go to your account through this as well. So this gives you access to that. On top of that, and more interestingly, down here, it says treasure. What's that, boys? What's the treasure section? Well, I'll tell you. For every deck that you register, you get an ember shard. Three ember shards make up a piece of amber, and six pieces of amber make a key. So, for every 18 decks that you register, you will, you will finish a full key, and it's got it right here. My current progress, as you can see from the image up here on the screen, is that I've gotten three different shards to make one full piece of amber, and I have 15 more amber shards to go to create my next key. What are the key rewards? I don't know. They have not broadcast that to us. Also, I don't know if amber shards are only available from reg registering decks, or if you can also get them from playing in events. I believe it's probably gonna be the latter. I think it's probably both, 
but I could be wrong on that, so you can't hold me on that because that one, well, I mean, you can hold me tight and make me feel safe in your big, strong arms, but you can't hold me to my words. Just hold me to your bosom and embrace me, Daddy. Make me feel safe. Everybody's so mean in the world. Okay, let's get back to what we're doing. Focus. All right, so the rewards, from what I've heard, could be things like metal keys or other cool promotional goods. I feel like the goods right now that the company is providing and sending out, things like this very, very cool Brobnar pin. Like, look at that. That looks great. It's like nice high quality with like not, it's not cheap in any way. This is well put together. I'm very happy with it. So they made pins like that. They have specialized chain trackers with your favored house on the back. So I have a Brobnar house chain and, or chain card, I should say, a Brobnar house chain tracker card. There we go. There's the full terminology. And I also have a massive Brobnar poster that I got for going to the Key Forge launch event. So I expect that they're going to have other really cool things, but there is no information you can find anywhere on what these keys will actually grab for you. But either way, very exciting. The next option is my decks. And in here is where you will find a list of your decks. So I have my three decks listed right here. And you can click on any of the decks. If you do, it will pull up the specifics for that deck. It'll have a power rating for the deck, a chains rating for the deck, wins, losses, and total games played. Now those are all currently coming soon features. People have asked me, once you register a deck, is there a way to unregister it in case, for example, you wish to trade away or sell the Keyforge deck. If you have it and you decide, you know what, I don't want this deck anymore, or somebody just comes along and is like, give me that deck, I'll hook you up so much. Can you unregister it? Because obviously whoever gains the deck, you have to have these decks registered in your app to be able to play in events with them. That's the rules. If you want to play in a tournament event, you have to have the deck registered to you in your app. That's part of the way that they manage their system. So if you hook anybody the deck, they're not going to want it if they can't get the code. So the question is, can you unlink the decks? And the answer is yes. There is a blue button right here that says remove deck. Now I haven't tested it because I have no interest in removing any of my decks. They're mine. I'm keeping them. But the option is there for those of you who were curious. Below it, there are, there's the option where you can look at the cards in this deck by house. You can look at what's in the Brobnar, Dis, or Mars, for example, for this house. When it comes to the search functions for decks, you can search by deck name or card name in the search function as well, as on, in addition to looking at decks individually. So that seems fairly useful in all honesty. The final option, and that's the blue button, is the add deck button. And when you click on that one, it takes you to what looks like a black screen. Oh, look, you can see you're in the background there being scanned. And in all honesty, this scanning, funnily enough, that force of will is pictured in here because the force of will scanning app is a nightmare, boys. It's so finicky. And on top of that, it's not set up in a way where you can scan a bunch of codes at once. You just have to do them one at a time. It's very laborious and time consuming. And in comparison, this is lightning fast. It registers the deck so quickly that it almost seems like it's glitching. You don't have to sit there and try and focus on the code really well. You will have no problem using this app. It's well designed. I'm pleased with the app. Literally the only problem I had with the app was when I first signed up at the beginning and I had to go and create an Asmodee account. This app kept trying to take me back there over and over every time I came back to it. But if you fully shut the app down instead of just sending it to the background and coming back to it, if you fully shut the app down and reboot it, that solves that problem if you run into it. So why would anybody ever want to get rid of a Keyforge deck? Well, I mean, obviously, aside from people going ahead and offering you a reward for it, there is the fact that sometimes people will just be unhappy with a deck. Like this deck I have right here. This is a rage quit Keyforge deck. Not rage quitting the game, just rage quitting the deck. My friend acquired this deck, we played one game with it, I raffle stomped him. Like I just made him into my lady and uh, he did not enjoy that. He was not happy with the deck composition and in all honesty, I can't blame him. The one house is seems fairly terrible. Now I haven't gone through the whole contents of this deck. In fact, what we're gonna do is we're gonna save this deck to go through in a live stream. Cause normally on the live streams, I know you guys are asking me to crack these decks, but they get their own videos, but this one's already opened. So I'm not gonna be doing an unboxing video with this guy, right? I'm just gonna go ahead and go through it. We'll see, I will show you what made him rage quit this deck. So 
I have the deck. I traded him. Well, it doesn't matter what I traded him. We don't need to go into that because I don't talk about that anymore. So this right here is mine now. We'll take a look at it later, but let's put that aside because I did want to mention the difference with the website as well. So the website Master Vault allows you to do very similar things. I don't know if it has a QR code scanner or if you just have to manually enter the code. I imagine that with the website, you have to type the code in yourself. It's for people who don't have the phone app, but the one feature it does offer that the app does not is the ability to actually search up locations where the game is being played. Now, I fully see that being integrated with the app going forwards because why wouldn't it be? It would be insane not to have an event locator on the app on your phone. So no matter where you are, you can be like, where's Keyforge going down, boys? I'm down. So that I expect to see coming. But overall, I'm actually really impressed with the way this has been handled. The launch has gone smoothly. The only problem that Keyforge genuinely has had so far in my eyes is... Oh, you know what? I did see one deck that was uh, like that had a misprint online or whatever, but that that's going to happen to a degree with any game. No game is going to be flawless in terms of the way they they put things together. But the major mistake that Keyforge made was not being careful or vigilant enough with the words that they used for the random names generator. So they did have to ban some decks preemptively, and that's going to be a feel bad situation, especially for anybody who isn't aware of the secondary market value of those crazy names. Now going forwards, this is something they'll have removed from the system and we won't have to deal with. But that is the one failing that I did want to point out. Otherwise, I'm very pleased with the Keyforge launch and how it's been going.